I did my presentation on human trafficking. Um, I wanted to find out the awareness of what people actually knew about human trafficking in the United States and also um, what actually is going on in the United States concerning human trafficking at this moment. Um, in human trafficking, it's both um, labor trafficking, sex trafficking, and orphan trafficking. Um, there's 12.3 million people in trafficking at any given point in time in the world today, and it's a multi-billion dollar enterprise right now. Um, the government stance actually <coughs> didn't really have a stance until the year 2000 and then the UN decided to start taking precautions to um, discourage human trafficking in the world. Um, sex trafficking, there are 98% of um, sex traffickers or sex trafficking victims are between the ages of 14 and, or 11 and 14, and they're mostly women and children, with 2% being males. Um, with labor trafficking, there's 56% of them are women and children, and 44% of them are males. Overall, 43% of um, trafficking is sex trafficking, 32% is labor trafficking, and 20 Five percent is other, such as like um, organ trafficking. Vulnerable targets are usually runaways, youth, and people that don't have skills. So anybody that doesn't isn't aware of what's going on. Um, that people that don't have um, like knowledge of life skills. You know, people that are uh, just kind of here and don't really know what's going on around them. Treatment of victims, they're brutalized, they're raped, they're gang raped, they're beaten, they're starved. Areas found, they're found all over the world. This isn't just a one little area, this is everywhere. Um, it's actually grown to the second largest money maker of the world. Arrest and deportation. Um, those prostitutes that are actually in um, sex trafficking are uh, arrested for prostitution even though they're forced into it. And because a lot of the uh, police officers that do arrest them have quotas, they, it's not that they don't care, it's just they have to meet those quotas, so they're just, they prosecute them anyway. Um, with labor trafficking, um, a lot of illegal aliens that come over here, or anywhere for that matter, um, are on a specific type of visa that the corporations hold, and then uh, what ends up happening is police uh, not necessarily arrest the labor trafficking victims, but they seize them and then they ship them back to wherever they came from. And so they don't, the police and everybody don't really get to um, prosecute the big, or the traffickers because of this. Help social workers are uniting with police officers to manufacture toolkits so that they will be able to ask specific questions to the people that will help them in determining if they are um, a victim of trafficking. They offer counseling as well as uh, like life skills and job skills because all the traffickers or the traffic victims suffer from like PTSD. They have um, um, some of them like to self mutilate. Um, as they they um, suffer from depression. The methods section. We did a survey on Facebook. Book that had 40 questions and it was designed on eSurvey Pro. Um, the data collected and it was analyzed in Microsoft Excel and SPSS. Um, variables included independent and dependent variables and the concepts were of awareness. Findings. Um, 90% of 
the people that did the survey believe that human trafficking is a problem today, which is great. 71% of people chose um, human trafficking as one of the top three money makers of the world, which it is. It is actually number two. 50% um, of people wanted harsher laws concerning this. 80% uh, of people believe victims are handled improperly by authorities, which is very true. Most authorities um, really victimize the victims. 60% believe victims are brought into the United States, which is true. 28% of people believe that Thailand was where um, people were taken from. And this one actually was an awesome finding because not most of the people weren't actually aware. They were, I think basically they were kind of guesstimating because nobody really had a specific answer. This was like one of those that was like, really mixed up, but Thailand is number one for sex trafficking. Um, another one of the answers was Brazil, and that was um, number one for labor trafficking. 54% of people believe that sex trafficking was the dominant in the United States, which it is. 91% of people believe that help should be given, which is awesome because we really do need to start helping these victims. Um, 89 or 89% of people believed that there's not enough information, which leaves the door open for people like us to do more research. Um, and 71% of people did not believe that traffickers threatened their victims. And I found this really interesting because how else are they going to keep their victims, really, unless they threaten the individual? So uh, that was an interesting fact. Conclusions. Um, my overall conclusion of the whole thing was that people do really have an awareness of human trafficking, which I wasn't really sure on. I didn't think that people would have an awareness, and they do. Um, we, or I concluded that American, the American government should take a firmer stance on human trafficking because it is number two. Um, we need to get strict on these, on this ep epidemic, and really get going on trying to prevent this from happening. Um, we do need, there are laws that um, are in effect for human trafficking, but they just don't work. They're not harsh enough, um, so we need to really start advocating for this and get people going and talking to their officials to get this promoted more so that we can get some harsher laws in effect for this. Um, there should be classes that should be developed for police enforcement on this because they really don't know what um, they're looking for when it comes to human trafficking. So we do need that and all governments should be um, together to agree um, to put in place harsher laws for human trafficking. Is there any questions? Mm -hmm. I have yeah. a question. Yeah. Um, this was a very interesting research design you chose. How do you think you might improve upon this project in the future? Um, well, what might have been a limitation of your study, and then based on that limitation, how do you think you might improve on this if you were to do it again? Okay, well, I noticed one of the limitations, and like the biggest limitation, I think, was that um, the average age of human trafficking is from 11 to 14 years of age, and so we need to get that out there to the kids that this does happen and that you are susceptible to this and we didn't have any information at all to um, go off of for that age group so maybe just like get out there and actually talk to children more and that might have been an easier way to do it than just posting it on Facebook great thank you other questions <laughs>